Solo B comes out of the last performance I made. It's like dipping your toe into the, like the almost too hot water of the next, hopefully live performance I'll make. It's what I call the movement score of my performance air. And so the movement score in solo B and the movement score in air are very similar. And they're kind of redefined in solo B because they're mainly focusing on um, pre-Columbian sculptures and their shapes. Pre-Columbian sculptures um, can be found like at, at museums or at archaeological sites. I've experienced them in Latin America, mainly Central America, where many of them are either carved in stone or they're carved it of jade because jade is like a very sacred stone. So they are shapes of, of just people, of humans. A psychological rupture heals by redistributing its effect with a reasonable and objective viewfinder that renders the rupture into a new shape. So the jar of seeds, they're like in an old pasta sauce jar. <laughs> um, they're pepitas and they're just like pumpkin seeds and they're very traditional in, in Guatemala where I'm from, also Mexico and other parts of Central and South America, but you kind of just like put them in stuff. It's just like, it's just like something that I've always like grown up with. And now it's like, oh, eat pumpkin seed, like eat pepitas. Like it's like a whole, you know, it's like one of those like smart foods to eat. And it's like, people are like sprinkling them on salad, you know? Um, and to me, I'm like, oh, I've like grown up with this stuff. There's a sparkly pear there. And that somehow I've become a collector of fake foods of like decorative foods. I can't actually at this moment remember exactly how it began, but it somehow also started to like take hold among like friends who have also gifted me food. It's kind of like a humorous kind of thing like around my house. Like it's like, oh, there's that fake bagel. And then there, oh, there's that fake bowl of rice that my friend gave me. And then, you know, like over here is that pomegranate that kind of started it all. Um, and this pear was exciting because it was sparkly and it was um, another fake food. The box. So the box was a gift. Um, my partner made the box for me for like a, as a present. And I thought, you know, this is already odd. Why not make something kind of, why not just add like another aspect of like oddity or like a little question of green in the background or like, let's not forget the green. Like I had to just like trust that if I made choices and I continued to like uh, dive into them and really dig into their meaning and then find some kind of, I even just like compositional knowledge out of that. It was very similar, just a very different version of what I would do in a studio. So it kind of just showed me like the tools that I use um, in my previous everyday and how I could reacquire them in my current uh, kind of like circumstantial every day. That comes with a feeling of a lot of loss of like what we used to have, but also having finished this project gave me some kind of sense of hope to try to just try, <laughs> just try to continue engaging no matter how lonely it might feel. Um, and I like taught myself how to edit video, which is pretty exciting. So like now I have that skill set, which is cool. Um, so yeah, it actually made me really excited for like other video projects that I've been assigned um, for the near future. So I'm like, okay, I can do this. So it was a really nice first step.